Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Vivian Gonzalez. Good morning, South Florida. And on this Tuesday, we are tracking a cold front. The first fall cold front of the season to actually bring us some changes by the latter part of the week. And right now, at least we're waking up to a lot of sunshine. More cloud cover starting to build in around the Gulf of Mexico. That's moving in our general direction. Those clouds are actually loaded with uh, some moisture. For now, your commute looks excellent, mostly dry. In the afternoon, it may not look the same. And it's 81 degrees in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, to 82 in Marathon, 81 degrees in Key West. We do have our breeze already out of the west southwest in response to this front that's located over north of Florida. And you can see here by this faint band of clouds and broken showers and it's anchored to a spin of low pressure that's been producing some snow showers around parts of the Midwest. But this cold front is actually driving in cold air that's spilling into parts of the deep south. Check it out. 23 in Minneapolis, 26 in Kansas City, Dallas at 48 and New Orleans at 56 degrees. But don't get too excited. We're not going to get chilly air cold weather with this front. They just don't have enough of a push to do that just yet. So this front will provide for a lot of steamy sunshine. We'll see scattered storms developing this afternoon. Now it's not going to cleanly sweep through South Florida. So as it hovers nearby, it'll leave a trail of clouds and the potential for showers both Wednesday and Thursday. But I believe on Thursday we're going to see breaks in the clouds to allow some sunshine to filter in. But by Thursday, you'll notice a nice change in the air. The humidity going down, temperatures a good five to seven degrees, morning lows in the mid 60s, daytime highs in the low 80s. Now the humidity tracker is showing that today it's going to be pretty high. Tomorrow it's going to gradually go down and it'll be very comfortable on Thursday. Now if you are headed to the beach or want to go out in your boat, we have no advisories west to southwest winds 10 to 15 knots up to 10 knots out of the west for the Keys. There could be some flooding around the upper Florida Keys because of the extra high high tides and the next tide cycle though coming up will be low tide at 1202 this afternoon for Key West. Otherwise for today we'll have morning sunshine possible afternoon scattered storms with highs feeling more like summer 88 the forecast high in Miami and Fort Lauderdale overnight lows will start to go down gradually 69 mild in Fort Lauderdale to 70 in Miami so it'll feel cooler going into Thursday Friday morning with daytime highs in the low 80s and that'll be the trend slightly below average through the weekend that's your seven on seven forecast.